and welcome back to the Crafty Meraki YouTube channel. It's Erica with you today. Hi! And today I thought I'll talk about the Mini Slimline Paradise. So the Meraki Paradise, if you want to be super specific. So uh, here in my hands, I've got the Parisienne, the Pagoni, and the Dance With Me. And I, I really love the pattern on this one. Super, super gorgeous. So I, uh, um, I've already made quite a few cards using these because I think they are such a fun way of adding a little bit of texture and dimension and interest to your cards. So I, I've got a few examples and then I thought we'll make a few more because why not, right? So first off, we have a couple of cards made with the Dance With Me die cut. I think even this one might be. So in the back here, on, on the back, you might be able to see the the pattern here and i've used it again on this panel and this panel these are both done with uh distress oxide sprays and that is actually what we're going to be doing today but what i realized when i was cutting these out is that when you cut them out and you then go and use the dye on a white piece of cardstock the dies actually pick up some of the ink and presses that into the pattern of the white cardstock how cool is that right so here on this one i have used the parisian die cut and this is also done with distress oxide sprays it looks like it's implemented but it is not it's just done with lots of sprays and then I used the dye on top of this. And here on this one, you can see it a lot more clearly. So I'm trying to avoid the sort of like flickering from the camera, but I don't know if you can see it. Let's tell you while we'll hold this up. So you can see like the, the combining, not combining, what's the word I'm looking for? The, um, the color on this is right on that, wherever it's been used. So that's, that's why I'm trying to get to. And, uh, and then, of course, on this one, I haven't actually, I haven't finished off with a sentiment or anything. I have just gone to town with the bling and bling just to kind of, this was just an experiment. And I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to bring myself to cover this up. It might have to be like a super simple, like skinny sentiment to go in the middle or something. Or maybe put it on the side. I don't know. But I just, I don't know. I was having fun. I was playing and this is what came out of it. So, you know, you live and I was going to say you live and learn, but I think previous videos have shown that I do not live and learn I go big with the bling yes but anyway so um if you do this on uh, if you use the the dies on a panel that's either ink blended or uh, you use used sprays or whatever your choice of medium is then you might get a second fun um panel if you use white cardstock afterwards so I thought that was a really fun discovery and then on this one as well, I have done, again, another spray background. I used the die cut and then I have heat embossed the gorgeous Thanks Bunches on vellum with white. And then I just fussy cut this out because I don't actually have the, the die cut for this. But you can actually get that from the Crafty Meraki store if you are a not fussy cutter like myself. Now, I must say that if I am going to fussy cut, I do prefer vellum because it's very easy, very thin to cut. And then I just finished off very simply with a heat embossed sentiment there. So there are so many fun ways of using these uh, dies. And then you can also, of course, you can cut it out, make a, uh, a background, and then just to add interest. And then you add some layering dies on top of it just to like, make them pop as well. Or make pattern and then use the word dies in like the shadow dies cut that out and then you'll have a nice really interesting background for uh for your word dye as well but my last example uh that are done with the sprays is this one that is kind of the sort of the rich brocade fabrics were the um the sort of the inspiration behind this one and again i've just used this is the pagoni um panel and then I thought it was just perfect to put one of the new sparkly gems in the middle there to kind of really make it pop, right? But then, of course, you know, you don't have to just use them on colored panels, right? So 
on this card i used the parisienne i did turn it upside down and i didn't realize until after but by then it was too late uh, what you gonna do right uh and but it just really added some something extra here because i have a really really hard time with white space i just i find it so naked like the cards are so naked like oh cover up ooh. but with the texture in the background all of a sudden it's like that's that's good that's okay not so naked anymore you know what i mean i think you know what i mean yeah maybe you don't have problems with white spaces like i do because oof, that is that's a challenge for me but i do find with the the texture plates if i use it on top of the coloring like this all of a sudden not such a big deal huh let's count that as a baby step shall we right but I have here uh, as well, I have a pre-made panel already. So this is, you can see this is massive, right? So I kind of figure, again, go big or go home, right? So when I play with my sprays, I very, very rarely do just like a teeny tiny little panel like this. But this is what we're going to do today because I'm going to step outside of my comfort box. Comfort box? Comfort zone even. And I'm going to do a little one just to show you how I, I get sort of something similar like this but then uh, i highly doubt that that's going to be dry in time to actually make it today but we are gonna spray 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 and then we're gonna cut 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 out of this one and make something fun so first of all you're obviously going to want to kind of protect your work surface because working with sprays oh it's messy work it is super messy work let me tell you so give yourself a box and let's be honest, as crafters, having deliveries come in, you know, shall we say somewhat regularly, maybe if you're anything like me, there might be a box or two laying around, right? So grab a old box and it's, it's really good if it has like edges as well. So you can, you know, so it stops things from spraying off to the sides because let me tell you, the sprays, they are a little bit unpredictable. They really are. But they are super fun to play with. So, you know, it's it's somewhat hard to let go of the control that you get with, say, like ink blending. But it is really, really good fun. So what we're going to do, uh, let me just remove my chair. Not that you really need to know that, but we're going to grab a couple of colors. And I'm really quite sort of, I'm loving the salvaged patina. And I also love the squeezed lemonade. But I do think that we need some kind of like, some other like contrasting color to that. So what should we do? Like a green? Like maybe darker green? Eh, let's go for pink. So we've got Kitsch Flamingo, Salvage Patina and Squeezed Lemonade. So what you're going to want to do is want to make sure that they are really, really well shooken up. Shooken up? Shook up. And they do have a little ball in the middle, so hear that? You're going to want to make sure that you hear that really well, because if you don't hear that, it means that it's not really mixing very well inside. And then aim at your project and go to town. Maybe not go to town like totally crazy, but, you know, go where you want to. And remember as well, like with the Distressed Oxide sprays, for instance, you can build up layers and contrast and colors. It's super fun to play with, like really, really fun to play with. I've gotten a little bit obsessed really quite quickly. So, yeah. And then we're going to go this way with the pink. There we go. And we're probably going to add in a little bit more of this. There. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool already. Uh, woo, this is so fun because you never quite kind of know like what is gonna come out of this so it is really really fun to play like mega fun to play but i am going to use my heat gun to kind of speed up the drying process a little bit uh but we are definitely going to be using the other panel today um but let's just have a look and see what we can get from this So look at that, isn't that pretty cool? I mean, this still is gonna need to dry a little bit and then 
um what you can do is you can actually keep adding colors to this if you're not happy so i think that is super super cool plus it's it's actually a great stress reliever as well it's kind of like bam 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 imagine like the soundtrack to rocky yeah um that's basically how i feel with my but you know it works for me so yeah so uh, we're going to put this one aside and we are going to uh, work on our other panel. So, as you can see, this one is pretty big. So it actually measures 15 inches wide and I think it's 11 inches um, height or whatever you call that. So what we're going to do is we are going to do a wait, let's, um, let's do one out of each. Yeah, let's do that. Right. So I might have gone to town again, but bear with me. So I used the Pagoni cover plate on this one and it's difficult to see the, the pattern, uh, on the camera actually, but, um, it is pretty nice and then I've added some gold splatters to it as well but I'm wondering if maybe this this sort of spray has been a little bit too dark because it is a bit difficult to see the pattern but if you just want some kind of like pattern or interest to your background then this would be I mean this I guess will work pretty well it's like a galaxy background and then I uh, uh, the plan was to use Pagoni, Dance With Me and Parisienne but like an idiot, I did two with the dance with me. So I thought, okay, well, let's finish drying off this panel uh, and use the die cut of the Parisian on this one. But then it wasn't dry at all. So it left a lot of paint on, or the spray on the cover play. But don't worry, because it does clean off pretty well. So I just dunked this in water and, and rubbed it off a little bit. I'm going to take it and clean it off with soap and water later, like dry it off properly. But the um, it didn't do like it done on my previous panels where it kind of like pressed the pattern into the or the color into the pattern. So it kind of left um, specks of it because it was so it was still so wet around here. So I sprayed another panel. So what are we going to do with these? Well, I mean, I think adding a little bit of bling is probably a no-brainer and these new gem mixes or uh, sparkles oh goodness me so i have five of them here and i think this one is going to be amazing actually for uh for this i think this is blue illusion um it is or actually maybe it's um not unicorn but um Anyway, I will find out and I will put it in the description box down below because I'm just mesmerized. Mesmerized. I love the sparkles. And my favorite out of the ones so far has got to be the gold illusion one for sure. It's just stunningly beautiful. Love this one. So I should get working on this and then we're probably going to finish these off with like some word dice or something like, you know, easy peasy birthday cards kind of thing like like this one it's always good to have a stash of birthday cards on hand right yeah so let's do that so this is the happy birthday shadow word paradise and i have cut it out of oh, a bunch of cardstock i found in my stash Woo! okay so we have four finished birthday cards and I think I might save this for something else because it's a bit samey samey, isn't it? But we'll see. Maybe maybe I'll put this one together as well. But uh, I have finished them all off with lots of bling because I am a, I'm a blingaholic. I cannot lie. I like the bling and I'll, yeah, it, it's just, it's just good. Okay, so I have used this fantastic, uh, this has got to be the rainbow um, sparkles for uh, two of the cards and then the blue sort of shimmery ones for this one as well. And um, 
the gold illusions so lovely so like the thing i really like about these is that it kind of pick up the light a little bit like and the the colors around them as well so mm, so good so beautiful so when you look at these they look very like on this one actually they actually kind of look more sort of bluey greeny and on this one the pink in them really sort of picks up that's i like it i like it a lot and then on this one because of the letters being in gold i thought yeah let's um let's use the gold illusion and these blue ones here are just fantastic so this is from like this mix um one so just different colors in here and oh so lovely so lovely but yeah um that is it from me for today i um we'll be back next week and i really hope you enjoyed this and i will look at your cover plates and kind of think outside the box and what to do and if you find inspiration from here we would love to see it so don't forget to post your cards on social media use the hashtag crafty and i will see you again next week